I spotted an estate sale on the way home the other day and I was a little shocked. It seems to be in the house of perhaps a hoarder of some sort. It turns out that he was a single um, older gentleman that passed away and he lived alone and had a little trouble taking care of himself and his animals. I spotted these two 1970s lamps in this room and decided to go ahead and purchase them because when I looked them up it looked like they were like $350 on Cherish I believe it was. I unfortunately did not get another good picture of the comps on that and I can't find them again. He had a lot of carpet cleaners for sale. It seems as though his animals made messes on the carpets quite frequently and he was having a lot of trouble keeping up on that. In fact, one room was just like an empty room just filled with a bunch of kitty litter. So that must have been the cat box room. I almost bought this uh, magazine table, but I decided not to. It was sad to see the state that this gentleman lived in. I believe the family took all of these totes out of the barn that you'll see in a moment and spread them out on the lawn so people could go through them. But it was, it was heart-wrenching to see how this person lived. I spotted this Jack Daniels lamp and it was still new with tags. It looks like it had some good comps on it. So I decided to pick that up. So here's my haul. First of all, I found this Jack Daniels lamp and it was $5. And I see these online for about $40 to $50. This one's new with tags from bootlegger lamp company. I already have it priced to sell for $40 at my Oregon City antique space. But I did check and it works and I thought it would be a cute addition to some man room or something like that. I also found this curtain, which I've already washed and dried, which I can use the lace for many things in the upcycling world or as a tablecloth in a vignette somewhere. So, all this stuff, I paid a total of $35 for everything. I also washed and dried the 10 pair of Levi's jeans that I got. And those are folded and put into a space where I'm going to upcycle those. For a further video, I'll show that. Maybe, Maybe it may take me a little bit of time though because I am so busy right now. I also found these two picture frames. This one was $1.99. And... This one was 99 cents, but he just threw them in the whole pile of everything. So um, I thought they were really pretty. And someone could paint them if they want. I'm kind of liking the natural wood. Not sure if I'm going to utilize those for things that I bought or if I'm just going to put them in my space like that. If you're interested in them, let me know. Um, and maybe we can I can list them on Etsy for you or eBay. I also found this lampshade, which I thought was in really nice condition. And these lamps are pretty fun. They are from the 1970s. I Googled them. I did see them on Cherish for $350 each, but Cherish is usually fairly overpriced. So I'm not sure. I haven't even checked to see if they work yet. I'm hoping they do, but I can always rewire those. And what else? I bought one more thing. Oh yes, I bought the Nemogic vase. And he gave it to me for $5. Um, I already priced it and put it in my antique space, though. So. I spotted another estate sale that I don't think had been advertised, but I didn't feel comfortable filming in it. So I'll just go straight to the hall. 
here's my haul. First of all, I think this is my favorite find. It's a Homer Laughlin pitcher for $2. I just love the aged brown and the crackling, the crazing in it. I think this would look so beautiful with an off-white tablecloth and some beautiful pink flowers in it, roses or peonies or carnations or something. So that was a beautiful find. I'm just going to keep this for now. May end up selling it later, but I want to use it in some staging. I also found this beautiful bottle. It was $3. Thought this would look really nice with one light pink rose sticking out of it. Kind of went back to my roots and found these beautiful little teacups and saucers. The whole lot that I bought, everything, I think I paid $15 for everything. So these were originally priced at $5 each, but they were on Sunday half price. And she's just like, make a deal. So we did. So this is a German one. Those, these three are occupied Japan. Just beautiful. I thought those might even look pretty on the same tablescape. Some candles lit, some beautiful hors d'oeuvres. Who knows? Maybe I'll have a picture for this. Probably not though. I also found for a dollar each, a couple of flannels that I'm going to use for upcycling. I mean, they do fit me. I could wear them, but I have enough flannels. And then these, the sheet set, they had it for $2 and then would have been a dollar, but I think it just went in with everything. It was probably free, but anyway, I'm going to use the sheet set to cut up and use these big cabbage roses on some upcycling projects I'm working on. So that's my haul from this estate sale. I was doing a Goodwill drop off recently and right next door was this Goodwill boutique and I decided to come in and check it out. It was very nice that they had such beautiful clothing that you didn't really have to sort through all the riffraff yucky stuff. It was all good clothing but it was very expensive. And I'm not sure how I feel about that because I really like the treasure hunt. I like to be able to find things for inexpensive. But it's also nice that if you're just looking, if you wanna go in and find some Johnny Was, you will find it. And you won't pay retail for it, but you'll pay a lot for it. Like for instance, this free people shirt that was new with tags is beautiful. I almost bought it, but then I was like, Bridget, you don't need it. You don't need to spend $50 when you could probably find something like this at a regular Goodwill for under $10. It is good market research to come in and see which brands do command a decent amount of value. So I was learning. This is good. Those boots are sure cute. I thought this was quite fancy. $79.99. Mm -hmm. I spotted that Pendleton blanket from across the room. Beautiful. Oh look, there's a Johnny Was top for $79.99. That's not too terribly bad. It was probably, retail probably sold for over $200. There's another Johnny Was. It's beautiful. This one is $129.99. This top was only $14.99. And I would have purchased it if it wasn't a small. Oh look, they're advertising for Niche. That's the app that my friend Laura Caldwell from Left Coast Revivals is promoting. I just had one of these cranberry glass bowls in my last video. $40 at the Goodwill. I mean, that's expensive. I flipped out on this dress. I would have totally purchased it if it wasn't an extra, extra small petite. Oh my goodness. And $70. That's pretty steep. Cute boots. 
thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, maybe you could give it a like or a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this content, maybe you could subscribe to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so, so very much. I appreciate it so very much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hello. What you doing? Falling? Goodness sakes!